okay dear students let us see what is there in this question three identical capacitors are connected together as shown okay so this is in all capacitors are in series all capacitors are in parallel and then r and s what is the order of increasing total capacitance of these arrangements very good so let us see how to do this question so one thing we know that in the case of capacitors in the case of parallel what we do is we add all of them so if this is c c and c so we know that this is going to come out to be 3c and when all the capacitors are connected in series it is in the in the other way so the um, simple formula can be taken to be 1 by c plus 1 by c plus 1 by c but overall there is a shortcut and we remember that what is that if the similar or the same uh, capacitors having the identical capacitors having the same capacitance are connected in series so they will be divided by the number of capacitors uh, whatever they are for example there are three capacitors so the total capacitance will be c by three simple so this is coming out to be c by three now there is one more thing that we must remember whenever we use this combination or this formula what we have is the maximum value of the equivalent capacitance that is possible by using those three capacitors so this is going to be the maximum value so q should come at the end and this is going to be the minimum value so as a principle as a matter of principles i am saying that whenever the capacitors are connected in series they give you the minimum possible value so p is going to be the minimum so our answer is between a or c but now we are left only for r and s for r and s we have to calculate individually and we have to see there otherwise there is no method there so first of all this c and this c and this c so i am going for r both of these c's are in parallel so what we do is we add them so it will become uh, 2c so this is our this is 2c and this is c this becomes our intermediate circuit and now they are in uh, series so we can apply this formula c1 c2 divided by c1 but c2 which can be derived by this formula only so please if the students don't know this do not get confused okay it is the same formula that i have applied now we do this thing so it will be 2c square divided by 2c plus c that is going to be 3c so it is 2c by 3 and what about uh, the s in s uh, this c and this c are in series so uh, again it will be divided by 2 now because there are only two capacitors so this will become c by 2 so our intermediate uh, circuit will look like this this is c by 2 this is c and both of them are in parallel they will be simply added so one plus half it will be three by two that is 1.5 so it is coming out to be three by two c so we can see that this is lesser than this this is having a bigger value this is having a lesser value less than one this is more than one so s is greater than r so s is greater than r hence c is the correct answer a is wrong answer so this is how we solve this question so my dear students this is professor varun and i am solving all the previous year questions from ib ex previous exams so please follow my youtube channel all the best